there's no question of the leadership role and the substance that the James Beard Foundation brings to any argument around food. Food has never been more important. We eat to maintain our health. The choices that we make about the food we eat do matter. Big changes in our thinking and habits will certainly be required. For a new food system that we're trying to build together. Here we have a system on our plate. We've come here to Washington to bring people from very diverse backgrounds together to talk about what the real issues are for the food service industry regarding public health and sustainability. This is something that we've been working on for two years. We're really quite intent on engaging a larger dialogue to deal with some of the issues that we're dealing with. Local food, public health, the state of the fisheries. The James Beard Foundation has set a table where there's a place for everybody and everybody can speak openly. It's not only the people that work with the medium of food, but it's also the, all the people who contribute to the food. Chefs, farmers, philanthropists, policymakers, architects, certification experts. It is bringing people to the table and having people walk out with a little bit more knowledge about who's who, what they're doing, what they're thinking, what succeeded someplace else. How are we going to reform that system? Questioning where something comes from. We try to be organic. We had people engaged in the issues with similar goals about sustainability, but who don't really ever have a chance to be in the room together. It's a challenge to know when something is really truly sustainable. Sustainability is always about social justice. I'm a cook, it's about how it tastes. Our conference, in some ways, was a mini setting of what we do every night at the James Beard House. We bring people to the table to have conversations. We talk about this all the time, but we don't talk about it with business people and policymakers. So I think now we're having the opportunity to talk about it with people that have a different perspective. It has brought me to Washington. It has brought me to meet and listen and understand all these other aspects that otherwise I would not be exposed to. It's always a delight to interact with people from diverse parts of the system and perhaps be sparked and inspired by ideas we hadn't thought of and create relationships that help move that work forward. It's really starting to take hold. What's the next step for us? We must understand food in a broader context. If we only focus on food in isolation and don't understand all the other stakeholders that should be at the table, we're never going to succeed. Everybody, I think, will have something positive to contribute. That's what we want, and now is the time or never. We've also announced our leadership awards. It's really a parallel effort. These are going to be awards that recognize people who are visionaries or organizations that are doing incredible leadership work in all kinds of fields beyond the chef, restaurant, and media world. And James Beard Food Conference will be the place to be if you want to know what's happening in our world of food. Thank you.